Logalto is a collaborative platform for NGOs and development projects. It facilitates monitoring and evaluation, reporting processes, as well as data visualization. Since Logalto is a web-based platform, you can access it by simply typing the URL in your browser, and then you enter your username, which is the email address and the password. When you log in, you arrive on your dashboard. Each user can customize its own dashboard. There's a project portfolio section. So Logalto is a multi-project software, but it can also be single project. Here above, you can see the projects that are uh, related to the user. And below, you can see all the other projects. If you click on a project card, you can access the project dashboard. You can see the project name and description. You have the photo and general information. And on the right side, you can see the favorite activities and the files. On the gray bar, you can see the project menu allowing you to access other information related to the project, like the activities, log frame, uh, planning document, reporting documents, and so on. So for instance, if I want to see the, the project activities, I click activities and I have the list here. All the activities also have their activity dashboard. So we can see here the activity code, status, implementation rate, the description, as well as general information on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, you can see the files, the timeline and the indicator uh, for the the measuring of the implementation for this activity. It could also be milestones if applicable. Now, if you want to access the project log frame, you click log frame. And now we can see uh, the log frame or result framework, result matrix. Um, so it doesn't, uh, it can be modified to fit your needs. So if you have different vocabulary, we can change the, the name of the levels and you can have as many levels as you need. So here we see the goals, outcomes, outputs, and then below we have indicators and activities. The indicator form allows you to configure your indicator. So here you can see the, the fields that are required or optional. We have a description, a type, baseline value and baseline date. You can have one or many target values and target dates and the measuring units and the frequency. Then below we have other information that can be added here. And this is all customizable depending on your needs. It could be data collection methods, source of verifications, risk assumptions, etc. And indicators can be disaggregated by gender, by age, region, or any other disaggregation method that you could need. So all of this can be managed in the administration section. We also can enter qualitative indicators, for instance, from very low to very high and map the values to a rate. And qualitative indicators could be milestones also, for instance, from draft version to approval to distribution with, again, the milestones mapped to uh, an implementation rate. Now, if you click log frame in the main menu, uh, you can see the different log frames for the different projects. In Logalto, we can also configure uh, for you your planning documents and reporting documents. So this would allow you to manage your entire reporting processes or planning processes in Logalto. So here in the demo, the planning document is called a project proposal, but it could be a, an annual plan or something else. And the reporting documents here are called quarterly progress reports, but it could be monthly reviews, um, annual reports. So um, the name of the documents that are in the system, as well as their content, all of this is customizable. Here, uh, when you open a quarterly report, 
you can also see which user drafted the document, submitted the document. You can consult the comments and see who approved the, the report and when. As you can see here, we have many different sections or tabs, uh, and all of this is customizable depending on what you need. In this example, we can see we have the general information, uh, and then we have a demography section where we can enter the demography of beneficiaries. We have expenditures per category. Uh, we have, of course, indicator values as well as the activities uh, milestones. We also have a Gantt chart, and then we have uh, various narrative fields. So this is also customizable. Another module in Logalto is the custom forms module. This can be used to manage anything that you would otherwise uh, manage in an Excel file. So for instance, you could enter here uh, success stories, a list of contacts, a list of beneficiaries, documents. Um, you could manage trainings, uh, bids or procurement processes, and so on. Um, how this works is each user can create its own form and then share it with, co with colleagues so it becomes a collaborative uh, database. For instance, I could want to manage the construction of schools, schools construction sites. Uh, and then what I do is I simply drag and drop the fields that I need. So I could call this one school name and say that is mandatory. And then I could add the type of school and then here enter elementary school and high school. Then I could uh, add a photo of the school and geographic coordinates. So you simply create your form, whether it's a to-do list, a contact list, uh, impact stories, you simply create your form by using the drag and drop and then you can save it uh, when you're ready to um, to to save it you could also publish it if you want people to be able to start adding records so when i add a record i simply have a form like this where i can enter my information And then I save it and I have my record here. So if I go back to the custom form section and I open the school construction sites, I see that my item is here. So uh, this is a, a module that is very uh, important for user adoption because users will find ways to use Logalto other than for um, standard reporting or M&E uh, information. And then you can go in the analytics section to create various uh, data visualizations. Uh, in the reporting, uh, in the analytics section, you can create bar charts, uh, graphs, line charts, pie charts, maps. Uh, just uh, here, that's an example of a map where we have uh, the budget by country. Uh, you could also, for instance, display the beneficiaries um, number by gender and age. And if you open the panel here, you can uh, change the dimensions on which you you will um, display the data. Um, you could have a line chart to show the value of an indicator through time. So all of this is feasible through uh, the analytics module. And each each time you have a, either a table, pivot table, or a chart, or even a map, you can open the panel to change your parameters. So for instance, if I display um, a grid, I can always uh, select the grouping options, sorting, 
or even the conditional formatting uh, and apply filters. So once you create your data visualizations, uh, you can go on your dashboard and simply add the, the visualization that you just created to your dashboard. So it will be added somewhere on the dashboard and you can uh, change the location of the widget and resize it very easily. Now, there's also the user account section where the user can change his user address, uh, email address or password or photo. Uh, there's the notifications where you can see uh, if a document was sent to you and that you need to approve something or uh, if someone approved your report. And then in the administration section, you can manage all the drop down lists, for instance, the sectors. And you can, of course, manage users. And as you will see, the um, security and access rights in Logato are very flexible. So here, this is just an example of what can be done. But all the profiles are customizable. And you can select uh, which user has which profile in which or unit or country office or project. Now, if you want to know more about Logalto, you can consult our website at logalto.com. You will see in the Take a Tour section, there's a description of all the modules. And if you want to know even more, maybe have a demo, um, you could go in the contact section where you, you can fill out a form to request a one-on-one -on -one meeting or a one-on-one -on -one demo. And you can also go in the new section where you will see how you can subscribe to an online presentation. So these online presentations are uh, done monthly. So you should probably find a time that's uh, where you're available. Or if not, like I said, just contact us and we'll gladly uh, do uh, a private meeting. Thank you.